Hello, Watonga. It's Derek Jenkins again, and I'm outside the Watonga newsroom. Hey, for this week's sports highlight of the week, we got highlights against Crescent and a hype video to get us going and ready for a game Friday night against Miko. And later on, I'll be talking to Coach Zach Maynard in a one-on-one -on -one interview. But first, let's get to some highlights from last Friday's game. Let's go, Eagles. It was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money, and so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on the suit. He should have worn shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he like, this guy crazy. Adrian, he's like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area. The shoulder area. So this old man, crazy. He's making money, but he's crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. My man, like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, holding him down. My man getting scratching, holding him down. He had him held down. Just before my man was about to pass out, he raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you got to be willing to give up sleep. You gotta be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really wanna be successful, some days you're gonna have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want. You gotta go days without, listen to me, you gotta wanna be successful so bad that you forget to eat. Beyonce said once she was on the set doing her thing, three days had gone by, she forgot she didn't eat. Because she was engaged. I'll never forget uh, when 50 Cent was doing his movie. I did a little research on 50. And 50 said that when he wasn't doing the movie, he was doing the soundtrack. And they said, when do you sleep, 50? Sleep. He said, sleep. Sleep is for those people who are broke. I don't sleep. He said, I got an opportunity to make a dream become a reality. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me, I'm here to tell you today that you can come here, you can jump up, you can do flip, you can be excited when we give away money, but listen to me, you will never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do. You won't be successful until you say I don't need that money, because I got it in here. Hi, Eagle fans. It's Derek Jenkins. I'm here with head coach Zach Maynard of the Watonga Football Eagles. Coach Maynard, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, coach. We talked a little bit last week. We kind of got messed up. The audio went down. So right. there's certain, certain parts that we want to bring back up. And just so you can share with the community and share with the, our Eagle fans, how are you settling in? How's the community treating you? How's the tradition? We know there's a new baby. How's all that? Have, 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 have the good people of Watonga treated you like we're supposed to? Oh, yeah. It's been awesome. Um, Tong is a great place, and it has been for, for years and years. Um, 
you know, even going back to when my dad was coaching at Hobart to the 80s and 90s in, in Watonga, and Hobart would go at it for state titles, and, um, you know, Coach Picarillo and my dad. And anyways, just always, Watonga has always been held to a high esteem, um, even through my family, just based on the fact of, um, you know, it's a lot like Hobart. Right. Um, got really good people in it. People who were, you know, we like to call them Western Oklahoma people. Right. Just salt right. of the earth, right. you know, got your back. And, and so we really feel like we've been welcomed by the community, um, especially just, just as a family. Um, and that and that there are, uh, you know, obviously there's people who reach out to us. And, and uh, we, we're, we're very thankful for, for Watonga and, and for what they have done and what they allow us to do. Um, you know, allow me to do with their kids. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I tell you what, we are happy to have you, Coach, and we appreciate you helping mm -hmm. out with these kids and this program. Coming up from an alumni like me, it, it means a lot to have you here, Coach. Well, I so appreciate it. We really appreciate you. Um, so, like I said, we wanted the community to hear that, but we've got to get into some X's and O's. And right. Again, we've got to talk about the season. Mm -hmm. And where, what's the state of our team right now, Coach? What can you share with us right now? How are we doing? I mean, what's on the line for Miko and, and where are we headed? Well, we got a lot on the line, um, you know, but but this year, this time last year, we were uh, one and four, mm -hmm. one and four, I believe, and zero and one in district, um, and and we had a lot on the line this time last year. Now, um, this district this year is tougher, obviously, but you know, if if we'll come play and get after it and have fun, then I won't. There's nothing that anybody can tell me um, what we did or didn't do was was good enough. If our kids are having fun and getting after it and playing with all their heart, then then we're happy. Right. Um, we do know, we do feel like if we put our best foot forward, we've got a great chance to win. Mm -hmm. And we, we feel that way versus anybody we play. We felt that way against Alva. We felt that way against Crossings. And I still feel that way today. I know the score was not pretty versus Crossings. Um, but there were some things that happened that week and that, that just kept us from being what we needed to be. And when we showed up on Friday night, we didn't show up at all. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Crossing and Crescent's a good team. You know, we're, we're, we're going to play these teams, and, and, and if we play them ten times, we're going to win five, they're going to win five. Right. And, and right. so, you know, those games you got to have the ball bounce your way once or twice. And, uh, you know, last week Crescent had the ball bounce their way once or twice, and, and that just is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, but our kids, our kids believe in each other. Right. Um, and they believe in their coaches, and in us as coaches, we believe in our kids. And as long as we're doing that, um, we're going to be okay. There you go. Win or lose, we can live with it. There as long as we're giving giving 100 percent effort, um, you know, win or lose, we can live with it. As long as we're believing in each other and loving on each other and, and, and doing our very best. Exactly, Coach Mayer. From a district standpoint, for the average Joe who doesn't really know about the district points and seedings and how many wins it's going to take to do this and, and what what can we do to get into the tournament? Well, as tough as the district is. There's going to be a chance, and I don't know if it's a good chance or a bad chance, but there's going to be a chance that a team with, with four district wins will get in. Okay. Um, you know, there's a nine-team district. The top four teams in each district get in. Okay. Um, you know, I think to guarantee ourselves a slot of the four, we're going to have to win five of the next six games. Okay. Um, now, that being said, it, it's kind of a crazy deal because in most districts right now, um, for instance, the hooker, to Fairview Thomas, you know, Hooker beat Thomas last week. If Hooker beats Fairview this week, they're going to win their district. There ain't nothing they can do about it. Exactly. But in our district, with as, as tough as it is, anybody can beat anybody on any given night. So there's a chance that we win six more games with district champions. Right. That's kind of it's a, it's a crazy deal, and and it sucks that that's the way that it is because there's going to be there's going to be two good football teams not make the playoffs. Right. right. And you know, we don't want to be on the outside looking in. So to guarantee ourselves a slot, we win five in a row. We win six in a row. We're in. And nobody, nobody can do anything about it. Exactly. So as long as, but like I said, if we will believe in each other and get after it. Um, we can rattle off six in a row just like we did last year mm -hmm. and be district champions again. And I fully believe that, you know, Crossings isn't going to go undefeated in this district. Crescent's already been beat once. So, you know, you're, you're looking at, you're looking at a couple of teams slip up like we have, and, and and we're right. You know, we beat Minko Friday night. We're right back it's in the all. middle of it. You beat Minko. It's on. We beat Minko Friday night. We're exactly. right back in the middle of it. Coach, hey, coach, if I if I if I may, I want to. I kind of want to leave each week with 
with something for the fans to kind of challenge Coach Maynard with. So, Coach Maynard, it's going to be a trivia question I have for you. Okay. And, and it's, most of the time it's going to be regarding to the Watonga football program, okay. Watonga sports, something like that, just to kind of break you in and initiate you and let, right. you, let you learn something. Uh, <clears throat> trivia question for this week is going to be this. What was the record of the 1990 Watonga Eagles football team? You got it, Coach? Now, hold on. Now, 90, they didn't win it in 90. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it was I'm gonna say they were they probably got beat in the third round so I'm gonna say ten I'm gonna say eleven and two eleven and two uh, first it's eleven and one it's my team eleven and one I was uh, close it was close it was. it was my team and guess who beat us out Hober or Dave, Davis 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 beat us out Eagles we're gonna be coming out and supporting Coach Zach Miller. This Friday, 7 p.m. Coach, good luck. Go get them. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.